Wow. You spend enough time on a backwater like Ord Mantell, you almost forget what a civilized planet's supposed to look like. I did my officer training here, back before I was deployed to Ord Mantell. There was still a fair bit of reconstruction going on then. Rebuilding things the Imperials destroyed. I still can't believe the Empire managed to sack Coruscant back in the war. The capital of the entire Republic and they raided it like some outer rim mud ball. Command was idiotic then and they're idiotic now. Hindsight's always clearer than foresight, right? We'll never let the Empire take us by surprise again. Anyways, we should get moving. Don't want to keep anyone important waiting. Yes, Senator, that's exactly what I'm saying. I can assure you that I've seen no shred of proof supporting these rumors of a defection within Spec Force Division. General, surely you understand. We need more than just your assurances in a matter of this... My assurances are what you're getting, Senator. They'll have to be enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I seem to have a guest. But General... Impeccable timing, Lieutenant. I'm General Garza. It's good to finally meet you in person. Did you just lie to a senator? Certainly not. You've only just arrived and told me about Commander Tavis and the rest of Havoc Squad defecting. Before this moment, I knew nothing of the matter. I have to congratulate you. Surviving the ordeal on Ord Mantell took skill and courage. I'm impressed. Just doing my duty. All the same, you got more done than most other soldiers would have in a situation. Sergeant Jorgen, I'm pleased to have you with us as well. General Vander holds you in very high regard. Thank you, sir. But General Vander has an odd way of showing his regard. Vander did the best he could for you, Sergeant. And I'd say a position in the Republic's most decorated Special Forces squad is doing very well indeed. It's regrettable about Tavis and the others. I knew they were upset, but I never imagined they would be so foolish as to defect. Nevertheless, whatever your former squad mates once were to us, they are now extremely dangerous enemies of the Republic. Those traitors will suffer for what they've done. I'm glad I can depend on you to do what's necessary, Lieutenant. So, let's load up a strike shuttle and hunt Tavis and the rest of them down like the scum they are. I would very much like to give that order, Sergeant. But I'm afraid we've discovered some new information since you left Ord Mantell. Our intelligence shows that hundreds of other Special Forces soldiers have followed Tavis and defected to the Empire. In we have a catastrophe on our hands. I can't believe so many soldiers could abandon our cause. It's a dire situation, but we aren't out of options yet. We have one powerful asset that Tavis and his followers haven't planned for. You. Tavis believes you're dead on Ord Mantell, and that Havoc's defection is still a secret. Right now, Tavis will be securing his armament and supplies. We need to cut those supply lines while he isn't expecting it. Tavis is with the Empire now. Wouldn't they keep him supplied? The Sith Empire welcomes our defectors, but they're not going to equip men whose loyalty isn't proven. Tavis will need other sources. In the past, when Havoc needed supplies outside of the normal Republic channels, they purchased the items from underworld groups here on Coruscant. I have units working to cut off these underworld sources, but two organizations are proving difficult. The Black Sun and the Migrant Merchants Guild. I'll take care of these people for you, sir. You'll begin with the Migrant Merchants Guild. Our intelligence indicates that they're supplying Tavis with a full platoon of advanced war droids. Your mission in the broad strokes will be to locate the droid shipments going to Tavis and destroy them. What if we let the shipments go? Then we could follow them straight to Tavis. I can't risk the possibility that these items could fall into Tavis's hands. One of my people, Corporal Garum, will meet you outside the Migrant Merchant Guild's territory with the full operational details. These missions are critical, Lieutenant. Our future success or failure is contingent on how well supplied Tavis and his followers are. I won't fail. Good. The safety of the entire Republic depends on your success. I'll be observing your operations from here through your armor cam. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Lieutenant, Corporal Garum, sir. Ready to brief you on the Migrant Merchants Guild at your command, sir. Let's get down to business. Here's the situation, sir. The Migrant Merchants Guild is a criminal organization comprised primarily of non-humans whose homes were destroyed by the Empire's assault on Coruscant. They began squatting in this district and refused to leave when Republic security tried to push them out. There's been an uneasy truce ever since. This is the capital of the Republic. Why do we put up with this? With resources so low, 
Command decided that conflicts elsewhere take priority over securing this particular patch of Coruscant. General Garza informed me that your primary target within the Guild is a cyborg inventor named Krell. Reports indicate that Krell's strength and speed are at least triple the human norm, with genius-level intelligence to boot. Taking him down will be a real challenge, sir. I've been hoping for a real fight. Additionally, Krell has designed and constructed a full platoon of advanced war droids that we believe are intended for Tavis and the other Spec Force traitors. A full platoon is a lot of firepower to lose. Tavis is really gonna feel this one. General Garza wants all of Krell's war droids neutralized before they can be shipped out, sir. Take out everything that clanks when it walks. No problem. Krell has his war droids patrolling the migrant merchant's guild base. General Garza wants them all found and destroyed. Consider it done. That concludes the briefing, sir. Good luck and good hunting. Public scum! Do you really believe you can come here and destroy my creations without conscience? When you die here today, your feeble Republic will learn what it means to meddle in my work. I'm here to take you down. You're a brave fool, aren't you? But bravery cannot save you. You're far too late. My plans are already in motion. Soon the people of this world will be brought to their knees by my greatest creations, my masterpieces. These are your last words. Don't waste them on threats. This is no idle threat. The droids you destroyed were mere playthings compared to what I have now created. I have taken ordinary humans off the streets and implanted several of them with advanced cybernetic enhancements. Their abilities now rival even my own. The cyborg's enhancements are internal and undetectable. The subjects themselves don't know who among them was augmented, and neither will anyone else until it's much too late. Whatever part of you is still alive, I'm gonna kill it. Fool! This cannot end in any way but your death. After you've been dealt with, I'll release my creations back to their normal lives. 
to wait until my hidden programming activates. This guy's full of it. I don't buy any of this. Once my masterpieces begin their work, the people of Coruscant will never be safe again. You're bluffing. Believe whatever you like. When it happens, you'll be long dead. Destroy her! Come in, Lieutenant. I want you to move immediately and destroy the cyborgs that Krell created. We need to deal with them now before they can disappear into the normal population. These situations are never easy. These people did not choose to be what they now are, but many more lives could be at stake. You have to eliminate Krell's creations. The threat will be neutralized. Good. I'm glad I can count on you. I'll contact you when it's finished. Garza out. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the traitors, not gunning people down just because some madman said they're dangerous. Nobody asked for your opinion, Sergeant. Stay back. The door's locked and sealed. You can't get in. We heard all of the fighting, and we heard you talking to that freak, Krell. We're not coming out until you swear you won't hurt us. I'm sorry, but I can't just let you go. But we're not cyborgs. I, I know if I was some half-machine freak. This is insane. You out there, listen. I'm not sure about these others, but I can assure you that I'm not a cyborg. What? Are you calling me a freak like Krell? I, I am not a freak. Maybe you're the cyborg and you're trying to trick everyone. I am not! He spent far more time operating on you than he did on me, so if anyone's- Both of you, stop it! None of us are cyborgs. That's all there is to it. I'm not buying it. This is insane! Even if a few of us are cyborgs, would you really murder all of us just to be sure none of the cyborgs escape? I'm sorry, ma'am, but there's no other choice. Please, soldier, think this through. Cyborgs or not, we haven't done anything wrong. There's no reason to kill us. My orders are reason enough. What? Why are you... Come in, Lieutenant. Good work. This was an unfortunate necessity, but you handled it well. Killing is killing, sir. Come back to my office now. We need to discuss your next assignment. Garza out. Lieutenant, congratulations again on your work against the Migrant Merchants Guild. It was a difficult situation and you handled it well. Let's move on to your next target, the Black Sun, a powerful organization composed of Coruscant's most violent criminals. Black Sun has a wide network of sources providing them with the deadliest weaponry available, including a powerful nerve agent that they're selling to Tavis in bulk. I can't believe these groups are operating on the capital of the Republic. Coruscant hasn't been the same since the Empire's attack, just before the Treaty. I suppose we're fortunate that things aren't worse. A Spec Force Sergeant Jaxo has carried out some advanced reconnaissance of Black Sun's headquarters. You'll rendezvous with her for a detailed plan of attack. We can't risk any of this nerve gas falling into Tavis's hands, Lieutenant. Use all necessary force. Dismissed.
Hey there, you must be the new Havoc CO. I'm Jaxo, it's good to meet you. No offense, but you don't look much like a Spec Force soldier. That's good to hear. I do deep cover work. Looking rank and file isn't wise. Now let's get to your mission. Your highly enviable task is to destroy a cache of nerve gas canisters that the Black Sun Syndicate is shipping to Tavis. The gas is called Travoris. Scary stuff. One canister can cover a square kilometer with 100% fatality inside of 10 minutes. A street gang with nerve gas? You gotta be kidding. I'd say selling weapons grade nerve gas puts Black Sun well outside the street gang category. Lucky for us, it's pretty easy to neutralize Travoris, at least while it's still in the canisters. The compound in this bottle renders Travoris completely inert on contact. Just plug it into the canisters inside the Black Sun base, and the whole batch is history. I'd rather have the whole place vaped from orbit. Uh, with respect, sir, vaporizing the Travoris would just spread it through the air. Which, for the record, is bad. You also have another objective. A few hours ago, a bright red case was moved into the Black Sun space under heavy guard. If whatever's inside that case is valuable to Black Sun, it's bad news for us. So your job will be to find the case and bring me its contents. I can do this in my sleep. Maybe I will. One last detail. Black Sun has signal jammers throughout their base, so General Garza won't know to send help if you get in over your head. This constant surveillance was getting on my nerves anyway. You should enjoy it while you can. I never get that kind of support on my ops. Once you've taken care of the Travoris canisters and nabbed whatever's inside that red case, be sure to meet me back here to confirm the mission results. Good luck, Lieutenant. Hey, you're back. Was the op a success? Were you able to neutralize the Travoris? It was rough, but I pulled it off. How about that red case? Were you able to grab whatever was inside? I found the case, but there wasn't anything inside. 
Ridiculous. That's a bit of a setback. We hoped the case might have weapons or tech that could lead us to Black Sun suppliers. Thanks for trying. I'm sure if there was anything to be found, you would have found it. Guess we're through here then. It's been fun, Lieutenant. I hope we get to run together again sometime. Good day, Sergeant. See you around, Lieutenant. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. A situation has developed with the Senate, and I need your help. What can I do to help, sir? Despite my best efforts, three members of the Senate Defense Committee have learned about Havoc Squad's defection, and they want to know the specifics. It's an informal inquiry for the time being, but you can bet it won't end there. I hate politics. We don't have time for this, General. I'm aware of that, Lieutenant, but we have no choice in the matter. The Senators have asked that you appear in their office at the Senate Tower immediately to testify in the inquiry. I am barred from influencing your testimony, but I will remind you that the more information that becomes public, the harder our job becomes. Are you telling me to lie to the Senate, General? I never told you to lie, Lieutenant. That would be illegal. I have merely reminded you of a relevant fact. The Senators are already waiting for you. Hurry back to the Senate Tower and try to get this over with quickly. Garza out. As if we didn't have enough problems already. Lieutenant, make yourself comfortable. On behalf of the Senate of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for appearing on such short notice for this informal inquiry. Just doing my duty, sir. I assure you, we will not hold you from your duties any longer than necessary, Lieutenant. The purpose of this inquiry is to investigate the defection of several members of Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, to the Sith Empire. Now, you recently served in Havoc Squad on Ord Mantell, Lieutenant. Is that correct? I have no recollection of that. Don't play games with us, Lieutenant. This is a serious situation, and your cooperation is required by law. We understand that your work requires a degree of secrecy, and I assure you nothing you say will leave this room. So please answer truthfully. While serving on Ord Mantell, all of the members of Havoc Squad, excluding yourself, defected to the Sith Empire. Is that correct? I do not recall the events you described, Senator. Is that so? Our sources tell us that not only were you present at the time of the defections, you were in fact the one who discovered them. General Vander's reports on the incident were frustratingly vague, and you apparently share his need to conceal the truth. Please, we're only trying to discover the truth. If critical members of the Republic Armed Forces have defected, we'll need to take proper precautions. Now, did Commander Tavis or any of the other members of Havoc Squad show signs of, say, instability, anger, frustration? I'm afraid I don't know the people you're referring to all that closely, sir. Lieutenant, you are lying to the Senate of the Galactic Republic. Please, no one wants this to turn into a full-blown investigation. If you just answer honestly now, we can avoid all of that. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantell should have seen the situation coming? I'm sorry, I'm not sure I know what you're referring to. He refers to the situation in which your entire squad defected to the Sith Empire. And then you failed to aid a Senate investigation into the matter. If we don't receive satisfactory answers now, we'll have no choice but to open a formal investigation. I have one final question, Lieutenant. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on Ando Prime and Havoc Squad's decision to defect? Senator. I would remind you that the circumstances of Ando Prime are classified, and occurred before the Lieutenant's involvement in Havoc Squad. You may ignore that question, Lieutenant. Are we through here? Your part in this inquiry is concluded. You may return to your duties now. Goodbye, Lieutenant. It's good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. It's unfortunate that you weren't able to confirm the contents of that strange red case Sergeant Jaxo spotted. 
but at least the primary objective was completed. I thought it best to focus on the immediate threat, sir. In the future, I would prefer you achieve all assigned objectives. As for the Senators, they weren't very happy with your testimony. Useless and disrespectful were the words they used, actually. Just trying to keep our backs clear, sir. But it's a fine line we walk, Lieutenant. Making the Senate too angry could have dire consequences. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Carden, the founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis's former mentor, has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Is Carden tied in with the defection, General? Carden resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. Consider Carden neutralized, sir. If possible, I'd like you to capture Carden alive. If he is involved in the defection, he could provide us with invaluable intelligence. The vigilante group Carden is working with is called the Justicar's Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. Why do we tolerate these hostile groups here on Coruscant? Most areas are safe. These sectors are the last pockets of lawlessness, aftermath of the Imperial attack. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicar's main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. Bring him in no matter what it takes. I'll have Cardin back here on the double, sir. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Listen to me, Carden. Helping you has already put my operation at risk. You will do exactly as I say, when I say, or... Or you'll what, Captain? I'm not one of your lock-stepping drones. This part of the op is mine. End of discussion. How dare you! Intruders! Put those blasters on the floor, soldiers. Nice and slow. Unless you want to die, you should follow your own advice. It's over, Carden. You, the imps, Tavis, you're all going down. Not gonna happen, soldier. Now drop that weapon before... A Havoc badge. Is this a joke? No, no. You must be the new recruit Tavis told me about. So you survived after all. Can't say I'm surprised, honestly. Havoc always did recruit the best. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I will. You are persistent, soldier, I'll give you that. I'm impressed. I didn't think the old lady would send someone after me so quickly. After all these years, Garza still hasn't lost her edge. What are you waiting for, Cotton? Kill the whelp! Or do you lack the true resolve to fight for the Empire? My loyalty is to Tavis, not to your Empire and not to anyone else. You want the trooper dead? You take care of it. I don't kill good soldiers. I'm heading down to the works to make sure everything is prepped. You aren't going anywhere. Do yourself a favor and die now, soldier, before you get in any deeper over your head. Open fire, men! Come in, Lieutenant. Is it my imagination, or were those Imperial soldiers you just fought? They were Imperial soldiers, sir. Now they're corpses. Imperial soldiers in uniform operating on the lower levels of Coruscant, and Republic security knows nothing about it? Incredible. We need to learn more about this link between the Justicars and the Empire. If they're hosting our enemies, they might have some useful information for us. The Justicars are hosting our enemies. They should be annihilated. I agree, Lieutenant. But we should learn what we can before we grind these traitors into dust. Surveillance shows that the Justicars have their primary computer terminal in that base. Find the necessary access card and activate that computer terminal. My technicians can then slice in and uncover everything the Justicars and Imperials have been up to. I'll take care of this immediately. Good. Garza out.
Good work, Lieutenant. My technicians are accessing the Justicar files now. Patrol schedules, supply manifests, prisoner records. Ah, card and you. I think we've found what we're looking for, Lieutenant. You have a new target. Are you saying the old man isn't my objective anymore? Cardin is still an objective, but not your only objective. Cardin had the Justicars work with the Imperials to hijack and rebuild an abandoned Republic communications relay, down in an industrial area called The Works. Apparently, Tavis and his followers are using this relay to route all of their interplanetary communications. If we destroy it, the traitors will be completely cut off from one another. Taking the traitors down will be a lot easier if they're isolated. I'm sending Sergeant Mappen to bring you the explosives. You'll need to destroy the relay. He'll rendezvous with you shortly. Dangerous ops are always the most fun. One last thing. Cardin didn't seem to mesh with the Imperials. I don't think he's as convinced of their supremacy as his protégés are. You're sure to find him guarding that con relay. Kill him if you have to, Lieutenant, but try to persuade him to surrender peacefully first. I'll give it my best shot, General. Please do, Lieutenant. Cardin's only concern is the safety of the former Havoc members. He may not be loyal to us, but he isn't loyal to the Empire either. Convince him that it's in the best interest of Tavis and the others for him to surrender. That's the best way to sway him. Can't hurt to see if Cardin will listen to reason. I know Jack Cardin, Lieutenant. Convince him that surrendering is the only way that everyone comes out of this alive, and we'll have him. Now, hurry and rendezvous with Sergeant Mathen. You'll need those explosives regardless of what happens with Cardin. Good luck. Garza out. On your feet. Hey there, LT. Sergeant Mathen reporting for duty with Fun Toys in tow, sir. You must have really hauled to get here so fast. What can I say, sir? Garza says run, so I run. First item of business is your detonator, sir. A Zerka Arms 53R high yield thermite explosive. Guaranteed to get a party started. Or ended. If it doesn't take the relay down, I won't be pleased, Sergeant. Trust me, sir. Nothing to worry about. That bomb is a beast. Now, the comm relay you're going after is in the works, an industrial area on the lower levels of Coruscant. It's a dangerous place, LT. Besides the Imperials, you're bound to find. The rogue service droids down there will squash anyone they can get their big metal claws around. This just keeps getting better. Once you've made your way to the relay, plant that detonator on the generator coupling at the center and clear out of there before it goes off. That's all there is to it, LT. I won't hold you up any longer. Good luck. Still alive, huh? You really should have gotten out of this while you were ahead, soldier. Now you're a risk to Tavis and the rest of my people. So Havoc Squad or not, I'm going to have to kill you. See what you're made of, traitor. Call me traitor all you want, soldier. It's the last thing you'll ever do. <laughs>
are the hero of the hour. I'm proud of you, Lieutenant. You've done well. Just doing my job. Defeating a legend like Jack Carden was no small feat. Having him alive might have been useful, but his death will strike a terrible blow to morale among the former Havoc members. I'll make sure those traitors know who took Carden down. Then we'd better get you started, Lieutenant. The Justicar's computer files included messages relayed between four locations. Our technicians are working to pinpoint those locations now. There can be no doubt that the messages will lead us to the other traitors. Thanks to your efforts, we'll be able to bring them all to justice very soon. Tavis and the others won't even know what hit them. As it happens, we've already discovered the location of one of the Havoc traitors, Wraith. You remember Senator Krasul from your meeting with the Senate earlier? Wraith kidnapped him from his home just afterward. We've tracked them to a remote space station called Port Raga. I can't say I'd miss Senator Krasul's charming personality. It isn't your job to like him, it's your job to save him. One of our teams is already en route to Port Raga. They'll investigate the situation and give you a detailed report on arrival. You've accomplished some amazing things, Lieutenant. But there's no time for a break yet. Whatever Wraith is planning, we cannot allow her to succeed. Understood? No sense wasting time with more talk. Agreed. Havoc Squad requires its own starship for operational flexibility. Our ship has already been transferred to your command. It's waiting at the spaceport now. Thank you very much. Put it to good use, Lieutenant. Fly to Port Raga and meet with the advance team immediately. Your orders are to rescue Senator Krasul and capture or eliminate Wraith at all costs. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Let's get out there and take down some traitors. My new master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Fetch a Vibramop droid. I want this ship to sparkle. Of course, Master. Custodial duties are only one of many vital functions I possess. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard the Rendili Hyperworks BT-7 Thunderclap, a rapid assault craft designed especially for Republic Special Forces at enormous taxpayer expense. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Prep the ship for flight. We're leaving shortly. The ship is fueled and ready, Master. There are just a few final points we should review first. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. Add a little armor, some combat protocols, and a blaster, and you just might be worth something. Master, please. Any non-factory modification will void my warranty. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Calling Coruscant Spaceport Authority. Request permission to depart. You are clear for departure. Have a pleasant flight. My number one sister in arms. Good to see you again, Lieutenant. Hope you're ready to crack some skulls because you've really got your work cut out for you on this one. What do we have here, Sergeant? 
A real good time in the making. That's what we've got here. Let's start with the accommodations. Port Raga is privately owned and officially neutral, but Wraith and her pals have taken over behind the scenes. My boys and I managed to tweak the sensors and keep your landing inconspicuous. But as soon as you step out of this hangar, it's party time. All you did was clear my landing? Well, we also found the Senator for you. It's not a pretty scene, though. Wraith has Crestful locked up in a hangar at the other end of the station. There's heavy security plus a big bonus. Explosives. Not enough bang to trash the station, of course. But plenty to ruin your day if you're in that hangar when they blow. Play it careful in there. Are you bringing your team in with us, Sergeant? I'd love to, but Garza's orders were pretty clear. Havoc goes in alone. We'll get your back if things go bad, though. I'd say it's time to get out there and get our Senator back. What do you say? Now you'll see how Havoc Squad gets things done. I'm looking forward to it. See you on the other side, Lieutenant. Good luck.
I should have known Garza would try to keep all of this inside her twisted little family. Well, don't just stand there. You know how to defuse bombs, don't you? Ray said they'll explode if I leave the room. She has a remote detonator, too, so be quick! This is how you treat your rescuer? Rescuer? Huh? You aren't here out of the goodness of your heart. You're here because Garza sent you here. Through gritted teeth, I imagine. That traitor was going to force me to go on record saying the Senate officially abandoned Havoc Squad on Endo Prime. I wouldn't mind knowing why you abandoned Havoc myself. Havoc abandoned us. They invaded Endo Prime and incited a massive armed response from the Empire. Do you realize what will happen if this situation goes public? The Senate would be a firestorm. All of our judgments publicly called into question. And General Garza and Spec Force Division would be the first to burn. As far as I'm concerned, you and Garza can both burn. You think that you would be spared this reckoning? No! No! You'd be lucky to have a career cleaning refreshers by the end. I'll admit, I'd like to see the look on that traitor's face when all of her bombs suddenly shut down. To watch that coward scurry away into the shadows when she realizes that her plans have failed would be priceless. Rescuing you will reveal my presence to Wraith? Surely Wraith's remote will tell her if the bombs are no longer working. Then she'll flee like the coward she is. These bombs need to stay active until I kill Wraith. Fool! She will detonate these bombs the moment she sees you! I'll be killed! Wraith has to be stopped, no matter the cost. What? Are you insane? I'm a senator of the Galactic Republic! If you fail to save my life, you'll be tried for treason! You'll be executed! Get me out of here, you worthless fool! Get me out of here! Finish this. No. Mission failed, Lieutenant. Senator wasn't my objective, Wraith. You are. Good. Last words. I guess conversation never was your strong suit. Goodbye. We heard the explosion. What happened? Is Senator Crassel all right? The Senator gave his life so that I could catch Wraith. You're kidding me. Doesn't sound like the Crassel I've heard about. He must have really hated her. Did you have any luck taking down Wraith? Come on, tell me we got something out of all this. Wraith got the traitor's death she deserved. That's something. Galaxy's bound to be a safer place without her in it. Look, we'll take care of the cleanup here. Garza will want you to report ASAP. I appreciate all of your help, Sergeant. Oh, my pleasure. Come on, boys. Let's see what bits of the late Senator we can find. See you around, Lieutenant. Take care of yourself out there.
Focus Master. Your respiratory health is one of my top priorities. Lieutenant, I'm glad you called. I'm not sure what to make of Sergeant Jackson's report. While I'm pleased you were able to neutralize Wraith, allowing a senator to die, this is a very dangerous line to tread. Wraith was too dangerous to leave alive. The life of a senator of the Republic against the innocent lives Wraith would have taken later? It's a tough call. I won't claim to miss Senator Krasel's involvement in our affairs, but his death will not be easy to explain away. Why not tell the truth, General? The Empire will eventually strike at us in force, probably sooner than later. Spec Force needs to be operating at its fullest. A large-scale Senate investigation would distract us, waste resources, cost lives. I'll be more careful in the future. Be careful, but never be afraid to do your job. Now, our technicians have decoded the first two sets of data from the Coruscant Relay. Your first two targets are Taris and Nar Shada. Can you tell me anything beyond the destinations? Not at this time, I'm afraid. I'll try to collect more intelligence and give you a fuller briefing when you arrive at each location. Good luck, Garza out. <laughs>